The Lake of the Ozark series is presented by Point View Resort. Crappie Monster. Use promo code Flopping Crappie to receive 20% off. Mad Fishing. The Button. The Dual Digital Fish Counter. And by ACC Crappie Sticks. Same place they were the other day, but. But we had the ice covering it? Yeah, the ice yeah. and all. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to day five on Lake of the Ozarks. Out here again with Kyler Beckman. And uh, we were actually, this was day one. We came into this cove and this entire thing was iced up. If you saw my Instagram story, we were punching through ice to get through here. And we marked a ton of fish actually below the ice, but obviously you can't fish it. Um, spider rigs don't work too well, but now it's open water. We just saw a bunch of fish on the uh, side imaging. And Kyler has a special, what is it, what do you call it? It is my signature series made by JB's Fish, fish Sauce uh, Waxworm Scent. And mm -hmm. so instead of having, uh, you got you got one of them over there, which there ain't no labeling, labeling on this one here because uh, it was my prototype. Um, but this was the final product and this is the product that is for sale now. Um, you can go to jbsfishsauce.com and pick them up. Uh, instead of having... Everyone knows that crappie fishes, everyone knows that wax worms work extremely well and really, really good in the springtime, which is coming up. And instead of having a, a thing of waxies in your uh, your boat that you can knock over and get that dust and them all over your boat, now you have it in a simple little container. And we we were able to enhance the smell to make it stronger. And it just, it's a, this here's a jelly is what it is. And all you gotta do is take your bait, dip your bait in, and you're ready to rock and roll. So, we'll be using some of this today. Uh -huh. All right, let's get set up on some fish and uh, get that sauce on our jigs. Hopefully both flip a couple slabs. Throw on a little bit of this goodness. 22 degrees, not frozen, very important. Works even in the cold. All you ice fishermen out there. <laughs> Biggin? Nope, but it is a crappie. On the top jig. Top jig, huh? Top jig. First one of the day. That's always the hardest one to catch, is the first one. Yep. Doesn't feel very big. Oh, crop number one for me. Pink chartreuse, get you some of that JB fish sauce, Kyler Beckman special. Crop number one. Crop number three on the day. Good one. Bottom jig. Is that four on the day? That's four. Little fish. Oh yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four for the sauce today. Good one. That's probably a better fish here. Net. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Nice one. Good quality crappie. Oh yeah. <clears throat> a little over a pound maybe? Yeah. About a pound. Maybe a little over. That's a nice fish. Nice Crappie number five on the day. Got him that time. Got gotcha. you that time, bud. Yeah. yeah. Whew. It's been a tricky bite. We finally slowed. The first couple we've been catching 
they wanted really, really fast moving jigs. This guy hit almost dead still, so it's been difficult trying to figure out what they want. And yes, as you can tell, it is uh, it's pretty darn cold out. I think the temp's like 22, 23 degrees. Let's get this guy set back in. But uh, we're out here grinding it out. JV's fish sauce, Kyler's, Kyler Beckman special, fish number seven. Fish number six, fish number six, not seven. That's why you got the counter. Now, as you can see, Kyler and I are incredibly bundled up and it's because we had a huge cold front come through the night before. We actually had ice forming on some of the docks. And as we started going through these schools of fish, we quickly realized that we really need to slow down trolling at speeds of 0.1 to 0.3 miles an hour, sometimes at a dead standstill. It seemed like the slower we went, the more fish we actually caught. After trying the first feeder creek for about an hour and a half, we decided to move to a second spot and quickly found a school. That's a good fish. Miss him? Yeah. Oh, I got you in the mask, dude, buddy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Fish number seven. Let's give him a look. There we go. Nice one. That's a nice fish. Good eater. Kyler and I are fishing feeder creeks on the Osage arm of Lake of the Ozarks. During the early spring months, these crappie, during their pre spawn phase, will stage up in the middle of these creek channels, waiting for the water temps to warm up so they can push shallow to spawn. Spider rigging offers a great advantage by having multiple rods in the water at once, covering a wide range to hopefully run into these scattered fish across the middle of these creek channels. We're using quarter ounce jigs with two and three inch plastics in the shape of shad. Shad this time of year are very lethargic due to the cold water temps. They become slow and an easy meal for these crappie. No. I mean, it's not terrible. Not terrible. Oh, that camera's dead. The back camera's dead, but whatever, we got this camera going. Some decent eating fish right there. Here we go. Fish number 10. That's a nice one. That is a nice fish. Yeah. No, I got her. Now we're getting into them. Fish number 11. Number 11. Yeah, that's a bit much. Yeah, I got him. That's a good one, too. Yeah, it is. Made the move. Got a fish. It's a nice eater. Chartreuse. Oh. Good thing I don't have my hand out of my glove. Cause that would have hurt. Fish number 12. There you go. Nice now we're in them. Now we're in them. That guy was a little deeper. Huh? That guy was a little deeper. A decent eater. Fish 13. So you've seen me use this mad fishing button in quite a few of these videos now and I just want to walk through a bunch of different uses you can use for this. It's a dual digital fish counter and at the top you can see two arrow buttons. 
Now, a lot of people like using this as a limit counter. You see it says limit, and you can go up by one. It will go all the way up to triple digits. What a lot of people like to do is on their local lake, they set their limit. So on Lake of the Ozarks, it was 15 per person. And then the button piece counts every fish that you throw in the live well or total catch. And once you get to your limit, it will buzz, let you know you're at your limit. For every one over your limit, it will buzz again saying that you're over your limit. Now in the video before this on the color challenge video, I was using the arrow keys to determine how many fish we'd catch on each color. So the arrow keys would have been one color and the button would be a separate color. As you can tell, because I set my limit to one, every fish over that one, it's gonna buzz. There's a button on the side that if you hold it down, it clears all your day's catch. And if you press it three times, it shows you how many fish you caught the last time you were out. Some people like to set their limit at one, and every time they hit the button, it buzzes. That's how they know the fish was actually counted on the counter. This is a great tool if you wanna make sure you got the exact amount of fish in your live well, and you can determine how many fish you caught that day. Plus, if you ever forget how many fish you caught the day before, just simply tap this three times, and it'll pull it up. Check it out, links below. Oh, I, got, I got bit. Yeah. Dude, I got bit. I got bit. Well, getting into something out here. Again? Nope, but it's a crappie. It's a crappie. That's number 14, I believe. Fourteen. Let's see him. There he is. Alright. He's pooping. Yeah? Yeah? Good in? That's gonna end it. Fish number 15. 15. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to end it for the day. Uh, that's the last fish. It's been absolutely brutal today. Uh, it's like 20, maybe it's 25 degrees out. The wind gusts are actually supposed to kick up to like 25 to 30 later this afternoon. So it's just, it's not safe conditions to be out on the water anymore. Uh, but we did manage 15. I will leave a link to uh, Kyler's uh, brand new blend from JV's Fish Sauce. It's even hard to talk right now, it's so cold. It is. Yeah, there's a, there's a different type of cold when it's open water and it's 25 degrees versus ice fishing 25 degrees. It's all this dang humidity on it. Brutal. So, I'll leave a link to that. Be sure to check out Kyler on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Again, thanks again for taking me out. Hey, Appreciate it. No problem, dude. We didn't hammer them today like we uh, have the past few days, but cold front came through. Fish shut down, it happens. Um, so, oh well. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, if you want to help see my channel grow, click that share button. I really appreciate it. Share, share, share. All right, we're going to get out of here. It's cold. We're going to go get warm. Welcome to the house. Warm <laughs> yeah. up. No kidding. I right, appreciate you watching. We'll see ya.